I'm absolutely taken back uh, by America at, and the way and the way that we perceive and the way that we look at uh, these children that are killing these these young uh, killers, the shooters that are shooting up our schools. America, listen to me, and 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 here's the reason why. Here's the, the main reason why they can do it. And this is I say this with all due respect to everybody that has suffered a loss and lost a child to a violent crime or an act of violence or a school shooter, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, we just didn't see it coming. And here's the thing, America, here's the thing. I've been trying to put it out there on the internet for four years that the only way you can really ever understand this thing and get into this thing is you've got to understand it through the mind of a predator and see it through the eyes and the mind of a predator. We gotta quit this dicking around with this thing. You know why kids kill? Why kids are able to go under the radar for 10 years and then just one day wake up and say, I'm going to go somewhere and kill so many children, blah, blah, blah. All these children, I'm just going to wipe in and just smother their lives out, blah, blah, blah. And then we all sit around afterward, blah, 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 trying to figure it out. And we can't figure it out. You know why? You know why we can't figure it out? It's because we won't look at it through the eyes of the lion. We're trying to look at it through the eyes of the gazelle. And that's not going to happen until you see it through the eyes of the predator and understand. You know why these children are killing and doing what they're doing and able to do what they're doing? Because they can. America, we don't believe. We don't believe that there are killers out there. We don't believe that these children, it's like, it's like Columbine and, and, and Newtown are always going to be a world away, a world away. But here's the truth. They're at the end of your street. 12% of America lives with some form of mental dementia, mental illness. You're never going to corral all the insane people. You're never going to be able to gather up all the guns to stop this thing. The only way you're going to make any kind of dent in the fatality count, the body count, and be able to lower the kill ratio is when you look at it through the eyes of a predator, when you see why these, these kids are doing what they're doing. These are just not afterthoughts of some bizarre video game that they're playing out in their mind. These are real agendas, real issues, real motives. These are, these are final chapters, closing curtain. These are curtain calls for a lot of these kids. And here's the reason why. Not every one of them has been bullied. We try to stereotype these kids so that we can see the next one coming. And you know what? Here's the, here's the sad truth about it. Is that after every school shooting, we let the talking heads of the media lull us back into a... And I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing the media. Believe me when I tell you, they, they got their spot, but, but they're not experts. Most of them have never had to fight for their life in any kind of situation that involved standing there and fist-fighting to stay alive. Nobody's ever... And I'm not saying that they all live in gated communities and their kids go to private schools. But if I want to find out how to be, have a successful marriage, I'm not going to talk to somebody who's had a bunch of divorces. I want to talk to somebody who, or, or somebody that has a lot of opinions or a lot of book smart. I'm going to talk to somebody that has been married for 55 years to the same woman, loving her, and that's what I'm going to listen to. So, so here's the thing. With these, these, these child killers, these, these children that pop up and start shooting the whole world up, and we sit back and we can't figure out, and then we get entered back into a lull through the media, and the media convinces us that, hey, everything's okay, everything's all right. The last, the last shooter just shot himself, so that's going to be farther from the truth. They are now, even now, moved amongst us in the subtlety that they're able to move in. Nobody can see any flags going up until the, the shooter steps on scene and does their dirty because they don't understand that the mind of a child picks up seeds of violence all the way through its life. These, these violent acts that we're seeing, these absolute horrific, unimagined horrific acts that we're seeing, these are harvest of seeds of many, many seeds of violence that have been placed into the hearts and the minds of these kids. These kids are fearless. They have no fear of God, no fear of retribution, no fear of loss or love. They have no fear at all. They're not always the last ones that were picked or the ones that were beat on or the ones that Uncle Tommy touched in the private parts. These, aren't, these kids aren't like that. These are kids that are well organized. These are guys that are that are methodical. These guys are able to execute a plan with SEAL Team precision, and I hate to use that comparison. They're able to execute these plans with precision, precision form and precision engineering because why? Because for years they have put this thought, this plan in the, into effect in their mind. In their mind's eye, they have seen this plan of them walking into schools, unprotected schools, opening fire, stepping from room to room, putting the gun on kids' faces and just, just doing the most unimagined horrific act you could imagine a child could do to another child. And then we sit back and we wonder and we can't figure out almost 15 years after Columbine and we still don't know. The only thing we, only conclusions we've come to are these, that, the, that all of our opinions about Columbine, that none of them were accurate. 
that how many times has the opinion been changed and how many times has the reason been changed why why the why Columbine took place you know the lion stalks the gazelle on the plains of the Serengeti for one purpose only it has a need it has an appetite it is hungry children that kill whether it's other children or whatever the case may be people that kill kill out of a appetite out of a insatiable hunger a demonic unfulfilled hunger within them for some it's a curtain call curtain call they want to close this chapter out for others it's revenge for others it's a combination of a lot of things abuse neglect lack of love lack of caring lack of whatever it was as a child that they felt they were deprived of but the bottom line is that until we get to a point where we can recognize this and wholeheartedly believe that these these kids these killers not just so much kids but these killers are amongst us until we get that in our thick skulls and really believe we're not going to do nothing about it the body count's going to continue to rise and people are going to sit around wanting talking heads to figure it all out for us letting other people figure it out but here's what here's what the plan is until you really actually believe that we're in danger as a nation, you won't do nothing about it. You just sit around until the next shooter pops up and then you sit around and listen to the talking heads and tell you what one, why the little machine flipped out, why it flipped the script, why it went wrong. Get into the mind of a predator. I'll show you why I kill. I'll teach you why, how, how and why a man would kill. Because these kids have had their lives pressed, hard pressed, pressed to the ground of an unfair life and, and just smushed there. And so now that... Well...